Okay. Well, I'd like to uh, open this gathering, as Michael has asked me to do, and I understand the welcome to country will come later on, but we have to get on to business. So, in opening this, I'd like to open this gathering with a prayer, if you'll indulge me. In Jesus' mighty name, and on the blood of Uju of the tribe of Nunakal, custodian of the lamb in Jeroboam, we come to you, Father, by Yami and the rainbow serpent movie, the ancestors and all the unborn children, to come to us now and show us your way. In Jesus' mighty name, and on the blood of Uju, Amen. And Amen. So, by way of opening this, I'd just like to tell you what I've been doing down the last 12 months since we had the last meeting here. Um, um, and that is the Sovereign Tribal Origining Peoples, based on the tribal boundaries, um, that don't show the layered titles because they don't show the regional, like it's the Bogon Moth here, it's the Bunyan Nut up my way with the Garanendan Army. That map doesn't show that. But those layered titles are necessary because you have policemen and policemen out in the Chukapa with that law. So that's very necessary. In terms of what uh, Michael and uh, Mark and others have been able to discover in the legislatures, I've put together a self-defence package. That's my ASIO photo on the front. Um, and We've been able to be successful in six jurisdictions and on numerous occasions in some instances. By Crown law, it is our sovereignty, it is our domain, and it is our jurisdiction. The yellow fringe around this flag sends that message to the Illuminati New World Order and the Black Pope. But in this document here, I say that, that the uh, nation state of Australia has been a black op of admiralty law beginning with the secret instructions to Lieutenant Cook, not Captain. No self-respecting respecting Captain would take a ship to sea to spread those diseases in the Pacific to kill us all off. That's why they were secret. And because they were secret, they were ultra-virus. Ultraviolence means it doesn't lawfully follow to the Act of Settlement of 1701. The second ultraviolence is the fact that they didn't get con he didn't get consent, and the hole in the Guigal shield proves that he didn't even try. That was just a cover story by Admiralty. And if you look at where it signed off on Admiralty, it signed off by the Admiralty, not by the Monarch, not by the Parliament. It was a black op of admiralty. He wasn't a captain, he was a lieutenant in the admiralty. And as part of the whole Illuminati, New World Order, Black Pope, Jesuit conspiracy that is going on against us. And in terms of what we do here, I don't see it as a black or white thing. I don't even see it as a racial thing. I see it as a struggle between good and evil here. And the devil has been ruling their world for centuries, for a millennium. But we went the way of Abel, they went the way of Cain. And we kept the garden as God gave it. That's why we need to keep our tribal investments. In terms of the 
Town to Embassy, there's a statement there that we hand out. This is what we hand out down the Embassy. Statement on the uh, listings in the national state and the reason why we're being there. And it also has the uh, Pacific Islanders Protection Acts. I'll just quickly go through those. In the 72 legislation, it says the colonies on the mainland, because I've got a judgment when I took a court case here in Canberra at the Magistrates Court, where they had a judgment, the uh, prosecution was entering a defence, where they had a judgment by a judge that said the Pacific Islands Protection Act did not apply to the mainland. They lie like pigs in shit. Judges. But this has worked. Act Crown Law, in that specific Islands Protection Act, it not only says it applies to the mainland, in the 75 legislation, it says that it is our sovereignty, our domain, and Victoria and the monarchy of, Great, of the United Kingdom do not want to put their sovereignty here. It is ours. And in the 83 legislation that Michael got from London, it says her heirs and successors. Therefore, it is Crown Law now. And her heir today is Her Majesty Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. II and I've got correspondence from her too on the matter. Uh, so, in terms of that document, I'd like to table that here and leave it here with you. The second one is, with, and I understand Ellie was working on this for a bit, Ellie and Michael were working on this bit. We've got fire exempt station status in terms of any fire bans being put on in Canberra from the fire brigade. Um, the AFP <coughs> has recognised me as the elder in residence of the Aboriginal Tent Embassy and we've been cooperating with them to stop a lot of madness going on down there and have made inroads on the ice. Um, in terms of the Black Pope, there's a document here and you should see the oath they take and they've been at it since the 1500s. And I'm saying that's a spiritual cement that they use to hold the Illuminati New World Order together. And they own 60% of Israel. The Jesuit priesthood. Remember Frank running your office? He's a Jesuit priest. And they're sworn to overthrow every form of governance and bring them all under the Pope. And they're doing it through interfaith processes as we speak. I'd like to table this document for your information. In terms of your birth certificate, it's a scam at piracy. What they do up there is the law of piracy. And the way the laws of piracy work is the monarch issues letters of mark. to her representatives to do their piracy. And I pointed out to you that Australia has been a black op of maritime law by Admiralty from the secret instructions of Cook right up until today. It's still going on, that black op, and they want to kill us all. Now they're trying to get black followers to tell us we've got to become white followers and forget about our ties. We've got black followers telling us that on TV, you know. But it's only in the tribes that you can get the absolute truth and spiritual onenesses. It's only in those circles. 
In their triangles, the devil can hide in those dark corners. And the Jesuit priesthood worship Lucifer. Not God. As do the Freemasons and the Zionist elites. So we're, it's, a, it's a fight against good and evil. And we've got the best way to go because we kept the gardens God gave it. We went the way of Abel, not the way of Cain. And in understanding that, Jesus said, Judge not that ye yourself not be judged. Black fellow now, your understanding will stop at your point of judgment. Judge nothing, understand everything. Nothing is where God gets in. And that's in the corollaries of the cross. And I've got a paper on the faith bringing in that document, first document I showed you. But the birth certificate document is a scam. And it's, it's a, uh, a scam in that you are, by way of your birth certificate, tied to all their statutes. Your birth certificate is a constructive trust, which money is put in, and as you're sitting here, the government is making money off of you now. And they enslave you to their statutes that they pass up there in Parliament, those bunch of clowns up there. They're de facto illegitimate bastards on the hill. And that's not a profanity. That's the truth. At all. And they catch you by the birth ticket. What they don't tell you here at Royal School is that you own that constructive trust. So in my self-defence notice, I say that as the owner of that constructive trust, I refuse them permission to even use the name. If they do, they're liable. Because once they do, they're breaking the law. Once they break the law, that then becomes a transaction of a security interest. That creates a liability. There is a writ that can be served on them and costs ensue. I've got a brief on the Queen on just that that I'll read to you in a minute. The other document I'd like to tell for you is, oh, the other side of this is what uh, Harry Gibbs said, Chief Justice of the High Court. He said that their politics and their judiciary, in, in, in reverence to the Constitution, is unlawful. And a lot of these public servants, including the police, Indeed, and we need to bring them back to the tribal ways so they can put God back in the picture and the rainbow, by our me and the rainbow saint, serve a move. That's what we need. And sovereign tribal Aborigine people, I say, is a universal and international state of being human rather than being a person slave under their statutes. But we must go back to the tribes to do it. And Harry Gibbs says that also. Two minutes. And I'll table that. The one, the last one I'm tabling is the concealed colony. Australia is still a colony, a federation of colonies. Mm -hmm. they, the Queen has not got her sovereignty here. They do not have sovereignty here. And they are unlawfully a member of the United Nations because they are not a nation state, which, by the way, implies belligerent nation state. That means the perception of other that got Cain into trouble. 
And um, the, 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 the colony is still under the Queen and her heirs and successors. Queen Victoria and heirs and successors. So she's the one that needs to do the deal. This shows how the colony is concealed. And you can use that as backup to the self-defence package. All these materials I'm leaving here can back up the self-defence package if they want to defend it. On the last occasion we had in Adelaide with a Anangu girl, uh, Dylan was doing defence and we were doing emails and text back and forth so the coppers were the young and uh, the prosecution wouldn't even come on board their own ship. The courtroom is a ship at their law, maritime law. And it rules most of the Western world. And it's the devil's work. They worship Lucifer. But in this case in Adelaide just recently, about a month ago, three weeks ago, Dylan was all prepared to go, the girl was all prepared to go, there was always evidence we had. The prosecution wouldn't even come on board their ship. The judge had to tell them from the bench that all charges had been dismissed. The free to leave. So the self-defence package worked at all. And that's the concealed colony, which means the Queen is responsible. In terms of the Queen being responsible, I've had correspondence with her and her last letter to me was the and our royal family forum. I've sent that tribal map to the Queen, um, Prince Charles, Prince William and Prince George, that map. And Buckingham Palace, they ahead. Dear Mr. Kabul, thank you for your letter of the 1st of December from which careful note I've stated the 21st of December 2015. Thank you for your letter in de of 1st of December from which careful note has been taken of the views you express. Perhaps I might explain, however, that the Queen's position as a constitutional sovereign precludes her from intervening in this matter. Nevertheless, I am forwarding your letter to Her Majesty's personal representative, the Governor-General of Australia, so that may, he may be aware of your approach to the Queen. Your sincere, Sonia Bonnicki, Senior Correspondent Soros. Now, my reply to her was, Your Majesty, thank you very much for your reply letter of acknowledgement of my offer to do treaty in order to stop the ongoing genocidal wars being waged upon us as sovereign, tribal, aborigine peoples, unremittingly. One, I would draw your attention to the particular in, to, <coughs> to the particular in the treaty emphasising the forgiveness, thus rendering the moot prophecy of Jude 11. And Jude 11 says, Woe unto them, for they have gone the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the arrow of Baalam for reward and perished in the gainsaying of court. However, I also point out to Your Majesty, without treaty, stands naked and unadorned before your own crown law, and most certainly before God's, 1 Kings 21, in this country. I would also draw your attention to the 1883 amendments of the 1872 and 1975 legislatures which clearly states her heirs and successors, not the Governor General. Surely you have a duty of care to your colonial subjects of the colony of Australia, posing unlawfully as a nation state. At Crown Law and God's you cannot say you are Herod's problem. To do so is to gainsay Her Majesty Queen Victoria. Thus the attached bill of costs to date, as I've heard nothing from the Governor-General to this day. Peace, prosperity and healing, Dennis Walker, Bayham, Uja of the Tribe, Nakakosta and the Lamb in Jeroboam. And 
on my ladder head I've also got that I confess to Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh, not to change or challenge the law, but to fulfil it in particular Leviticus for restoration, 1 John 14, Matthew 5, 17, Leviticus 25, 10, and also in 1 Kings 21 for good measure, because this is indeed Naboth's vineyard. And I've had differences with Michael about going nation state because I see going nation state implies you are a belligerent nation state and you are excluding people, which is an anathema to the Tukapa. The Tukapa is inclusive. I'm saying we must have the tribal invectomy. Sovereign tribal unions. I speak to you on that basis. Mm -hmm. 